Why do I love New Zealand? Every time the answer is the same. New Zealand is a vanguard, the forefront of human rights, compassion, and love. Simply, New Zealand cares. So I was shocked and horrified to read Rosemary McCloyd's opinion piece that this couldn't be happening. Not in my New Zealand. This is the backwards, asinine rhetoric of America. Or, you know, the past. Not in New Zealand in 2012. I moved here five years ago to live with my now husband. We are both proudly transgender, proudly transsexuals. Let me explain it to you, Rosemary. Can I call you Rosemary? You made it personal first. In terms your simple mind can understand, we are both he, she's. After two years of marriage, we are starting to think about other things, mostly the pitter pat of little feet and the soft giggle of a babe in our arms, offspring of our own. Or of our own. So, Rosemary, our desire to carry out the most basic of human urges, to carry on our genes, our family tree, does not make us inferior, nor does it if we decide to share it with the whole world. Our little miracle, our lovely babe. Woo! To share with the world, despite unique circumstances, despite many hurdles, and through much triumph, we have made a dream come true. What new parent doesn't want to show the whole world, put an article in every magazine, here is my baby, isn't it perfect? Here is my child, isn't it beautiful? Here is an example of me and my partner's wonderful love. And the underlining comment in your article, the many, and the many like it, yes, Rosemary, Many have expressed your opinion before. Frankly, you're a little behind the times, dear. Perhaps time to retire? The underlying statement is, oh God, someone think of the poor children. They will be so confused about gender. Well, that, that's frankly bullshit. Need I remind you that both my husband and I came from normal heterosexual families? I can't believe that we still have to say this, but love is love. A mother is a mother despite her birth sex. A father is a father no matter if he carried the child. Rosemary, how dare you judge my ability to, ha to be a mother based on my genitalia. You have never met me, nor do you know about my intentions. I happen yeah. to know I'll be a great mother. Yes, sometimes I might cuddle my child too much. I might let them stay up too late or have too many sweets. But I by far won't be perfect, but I will be the best I can, which is all any parent can do. So in closing, Rosemary, why don't you let me worry about my children? Leave it to me to worry about your, my future, and I'll leave you to worry about yours. Woo!